Why are we here again? Hello? Where did that happen? This way, Papa. Come and see. Okay, child. Off I can. <laughs> This one's a lot more like scary, I see. That voice on the telephone. He speaks as if he knows me, and indeed I seem to remember him. Like a twin pulled away from the other at birth, I feel that we are entwined, for I cannot conceive of how. I am a drowning man gasping for the service within my own house. Beneath me I know there are splendid architectures hidden in the dark. If only I can find the entrances. Wait, does he really know me? I swear he just said, like, a couple of, like, things, like a trucker name. Son! Sorry, son, I can't remember your fucking name. Ooh, hello. Flashback? No. Well, this house isn't fucked up at all. I know that's the right way, but let's see what's in here. Just a cozy fireplace, or no? I must say, my dear man, you, you look awful. Yes, no. I, I seem to have picked up something rather nasty in Mexico. I do understand what you've been through. A lesser man would have crumbled, yet you have made all of this. Your great factory, your charities. It is a wonder for one man alone. It will all be made clear. Well, that's a great start at all. But first, a drink. Uh, oh no. Why did I get the fucking white one in? Someone's already got the black one in. Somewhere. Who got the blackie? <laughs> Good god, that sounds racist. Who got the fucking blackie? But no, black ball. Uh, right. Oh, hello. Mm, do we want to go outside properly? Oh. There's our kids and the gate's been shut, so yeah, we don't want to go that way yet. There's too many right ways. I am to have a visitor, this dinkified Professor A. He has to come to ascertain my mental well-being after my prolonged absence from the club. From the club! But I am not stupid. He is here to spy for them. When they stalked the river, he was often called upon to vacate, upon lacerations and missing organs. And now he comes to me to Dolph and Weedle and my dear sir. And but you still must grieve. And perhaps just a quick look at your engines, the triumph of the age. He knows nothing of loss, does no nothing of sacrifice, but to refuse that would simply poke the hornets to the nest, invite a swarm of interlopers and thieves. I must entertain this buffoon and submit to his intrusion. Perhaps if I should show him the tippery, see whether his stomach so trained by rummaging in the innards of clum <laughs> of clumsily versictified whores. Is strong enough to stare into the real engines of this golden age. I may even introduce him to Jack, or his sons at least. We have stranger locks on the windows now, and we bring their toys to them. Oh, so maybe they're grandkids? Oh. No? Okay. Oh, this is the toilet we could see him to before. And after the party, she took my arm and said, But darling, however did you get from the trophy room to the guest bed bathroom so quickly? Everyone considers you quite the magician. My darling Lilibuff, my father's house has many rooms, and as for mine, well, it also has its secret chambers. Yeah, where you spam people and take pictures or draw pictures of orgies happening in your room in that room even brilliant why not why not you got it flaunt it that's what I say right 
Right, what's in this one? Nothing. I'm gonna take it. Oh no. There's another way. What? Where's the phone? the game glitch and think I was over there. Interesting. I don't know what that does, but okay. That'd be why there's two correct ways. Oh shit! Hello. Fucking hell! Just banging on the fucking doors. Fuck. outside. I like this game more at the moment, just because it's less puzzle game and it actually is what it's meant to be, which is a horror game. I mean, at the moment it's not got anything like other than jump scares really, but I mean, you know. This is like the first, what, five minutes in? Oh wait, no, it was that way, wasn't it? It was that way. And then this one to the left. Yeah. And then this one. And that's where the other one was. Oh, okay. And this just brings you around then. Right, now I have no idea what I'm doing. Is that everything? Is there something else down here? Um. That's stuck in there. Okay, follow the left wall. So that does nothing. That's still locked. Mm. Huh. So I suppose this is a good time to talk about um, the woman in black performance that I saw yesterday. Because like that door did, like it wasn't. There weren't that very. There weren't that many scary moments, but it was like quite holy shit at times. Um, like this. If you are gonna see this before, oh, actually, it's a, like kind of come out a month from now. Actually, no, it's not. Okay, if you're planning to see a performance in London named after. Um, 
named oh uh, shit I'm not there which project what's it called Woman in Black how do I forget it that quick then just mute your audio for now if not continue watching um yeah but basically it was like there's this bit where she comes out with the curtains and she's full on fucking scream it's basically right it's actually right if you also haven't heard of the story the woman in black or you haven't seen the film you haven't anything and you really want to before you listen to me doddle on about it um then go ahead because it's a nice like little factor when you find out the stuff like all of it it's a nice little oh that's good right which is what I do with a lot of horror usually I just go oh that is nice that is very clever um like the fact that that door to give you an example the fact when that door shut and wouldn't open after gives a sense that something's in there trying to not let you through which is really really good like it's like it's actually in there and it's like no you won't apart from the like fighting noise it's making um but yes yeah, it's basically this tale of a guy who went to a house um, and he saw this black, he, this woman in black with a like completely dead face, right? And it's a ghost. It's like a ghost of a woman who once lived there. And I can't remember all the story, but that's basically it, I think. If I'm wrong, someone please tell me. Um, and yeah, the guy goes to the house. He sees the ghost and all this stuff, right? And then he gets out of the house, right? So he, because he's basically like, um, well he is a solicitor, right? So he goes around the house, he's looking through the paperwork, seeing what solicitor stuff he needs to do. I have no idea what the extra time for any of that stuff is, because I'm not a solicitor or an aspiring solicitor. Um, if you want to know what that kind of thing is, just look it up, but it's never mentioned in the play anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just looking through paper cut, um, like copies of receipts and receipts and stuff like that and invoices kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it's basically he's doing that and this woman or no no no. Okay, I won't skip it that far. I, there's this knocking. He hears this knocking. It's like a so he goes upstairs. He goes upstairs one of the doors. And this door, to start with, when he first went to the house, was locked. And now he hears this <laughs> So he goes to open the door. And on the production there was like a red spotlight on it, which was quite good as well because it like is already warning you that there's gonna be danger, which sets attention in the audience's like mind of holy shit, something's gonna happen and that builds suspense, which is what a lot of horror uses. The horror uses suspense to go, oh my fucking god, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but it still got me anyway. Holy shit. Like this game, I'm expecting fucking Nat to come alive at some point and come and kill me. It probably won't. But, you know, any of this stuff could happen. Like their heads could turn, that kind of thing, right? And if it did, I'd still get scared because it's, you know, just playing with. It's just toying, maybe, really. That's what horror does, it toys with you, right? As soon as he touches this bloody door knob, there's this <coughs> like proper screaming, proper horror scream. I might put one in post edit. I don't know. Depends how good of one I can find. Um but yeah, the screaming happens, right? And that means it, that just makes him go, okay, fuck that, fuck that, I'm not opening that at all. I'm not going anywhere near that shit. But the second time that he hears, oh no no no! So he continues his day, and there's a. Oh no no no! Actually, before that, or in between those two events, maybe he goes out to this. He goes out of the house and tries to go back into the town. Now the town and the house are basically there's a causeway, right? Causeway is a big bit of sea that crosses between the two. Um, 
and this causeway like there's mist right this causeway causes a sea mist which you can't see anything and it's basically like you're looking through smoke now something else they did very well with this and there is the lever let's see where this goes oh this is new okay this is very new I don't know if I'll continue the story right now or another time funny enough is something they kept doing which I thought was a bit annoying however there was like that gap in the tension well ish I don't know there might have been really good uses of that subconsciously but... oh I just you know I just don't know maybe there was um, maybe there was a really important use for it but, but I think, I don't think there was, to be honest. I kind of hated how they kept doing it. Like, once or twice would have been alright, but they did it, like, all the bloody time, which was super annoying. Um, so are we done in this area? Or is there something else now? So that's jammed, yeah. That is now jammed. I'm just wondering if that's activated the other side. You know, the first one we activated. Might not. Also, I want to know how I get into that room. Um. Wait, let's go. Oh, hello. Flickering lights, always a good sign. Hands are bleeding. Raw. I scrub and scrub, but the smell will not lift. Ooh. How oh, can I hold my children went. with these hands now? How can I kiss them goodnight with lips that have issued such instruction? Hmm. Okay. So he's worried about his kids because he did something? Um Huh. Okay, so this mist creates um this mist creates like a smoky thing. And what they did was they used the smoke machine at that part, so it was like you were actually there and you were the one who couldn't see it. Damn it. Wait. I did, however, forget that we already saw it there. Okay, um. I'm gonna assume that nothing is in here. In a minute. Um. But yeah, it also makes the um, tide rise. However, one of the big, big bits of this is he goes out either that day or before, and he see. Hang on, before I open this. All right, actually hold the thought. Oh, she came a snuffling by night here round your door, with her pretty apron right down to the hoof, and her ringlets were fair and her blades. And her eyes shine a blue, like a half-buried hand in the wintry snow. You, like a band, like a hand in the wintry snow. And she'll beg if her apples for the window ajar. Her face will be hidden, but her eyes are still a flame, shine a flame. And though you'll be tempted, her bosom, her bosom so fair, she'll snatch you and catch you, and eat your heart out. Oh, she'll catch you and eat your heart out. And eat out your heart. So look to your managers come the evier, at least Sally Link comes calling for apples, my dear, and know that the door is near should be should open wide. Take heed to your father and keep safe inside. Distant and children make Sally her poison oh, and warm Sally's beastly insides. Okay, so it's better cannibal. Okay, so 